All right, welcome everybody back to another episode of the Boostly podcast. We're doing Behind the Host series and we're at the Short Term w Rental Wealth Conference in Nashville. Uh, I'm picking people from behind the scenes to come and have a chat and we're digging into the tools, the tactics and what they're doing behind the scenes in their business uh, to, to run it. And today we've got the amazing Kyle Stanley. He's uh, on my left and so Kyle, could you please introduce yourself, where you're in the world, business and all that jazz and then we'll get started. All right, yeah, so we are in Fresno, California, uh, Bass Lake, California, and also Phoenix and Scottsdale, Arizona. We are a combination of all three models. Uh, I believe in diversity, so uh, we have about 50 that we co-host, and then we have another seven or eight that we own, and another seven or eight that we arbitrage. And uh, in 2021, we grossed about 2.1 million, and we want to 3x that here in 2022. Awesome. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's dig into the tools that you're using behind the scenes. So can you just please give a breakdown on say, uh, the tech stack, the PMS, like what, what are you using behind the scene that helps run everything? And also break down like the, the staff members that you have behind the scenes, please. Yeah, so all of our locks are Schlage. Um, everything I'm doing in regards to Taking a look at market eval, I'm, I'm a market eval nerd, so I love being able to use AirDNA for that. Um, and then just really keeping it simple, um, as a PMS, we use IGMS right now, but we're actually moving over to HostAway. Main reason for that is because we're, it's a little bit more customizable and we're able to have uh, our owners be on the same page as us. Like I said, with having 50 co-hosting units, it's tough to have to answer a lot of questions with these owners. And so we find that HostAway is gonna be a better fit for us on that. Um, I have two employees. Uh, one of them is our CO. She's in charge of every single operation. And so every time there's any sort of person for me to check in with, she's the only person that I have a check in with. And then our cleaning manager. And we have a uh, number of cleaners that also get checked by a quality control manager. She's not an employee, but she's about the closest thing to it. And then three VAs. And like I mentioned, tons of cleaners. They're all in house because we like to be able to bonus our cleaners train our cleaners and have them adopt our systems and not have to go to a cleaning company and try to you know get them to do things our way we found it to be a lot easier if we find you know that maybe call it mom or college student or babysitter that just wants some extra income and has a little bit of time during the hours of three to four or sorry 11 to four we can train them give them another source of income and adopt them into our company. And uh, that's been the easiest way for us to have killer reviews as well. Okay, so last question. Can you just sort of break down your working week? So what is a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, as the owner of the business, runner of the business, how, does, how do you break down your working week? And if you've got anything that you can relate as in books that you've read that's helped get that sort of structure in place, that'd be amazing. Yeah, great question. Uh, the four hour work week is a huge book that helped me um, and Literally, we put in about, I put in about two to three hours of work per week on my actual Airbnb business. Monday, I meet with my team and they show, I, they basically show me everything that happened from the last week. And I tell them, okay, either tell me more about that and how we fix that problem so that there's that trust that I have, but also verifying. And then we also have those things where I'm just like, okay, you know, we, we don't need to talk about that. I trust that you have that. I know you've done this a million times. We don't need to talk about that. Let's talk more so about maybe some systems that we can improve, some ways that we can start to maybe bring in and fill in some holes that are, are needed to be filled. Um, and so legitimately, Mark, every single time that we start a work week, that's the only time I expect to put any time in the business. But of course, we get those calls about once, I get a call about once or twice a week from my COO informing me of uh, something or hey i need this help but one of our values in our company is bring me solutions not problems and what that's allowed me to do is empower my team so that when they do have an issue they don't think to themselves well i need kyle to go fix it they start to say okay if i bring this to kyle he's going to ask me what my solution is and so most of the time that forces them to create a solution and they realize oh we don't really need to call kyle final one then so everybody here knows about facebook and facebook groups uh kyle can you please just break down your facebook group that you founded uh tell everybody how they can find it and just talk a little bit about the community and and the coaching company that you have also founded as well, please. Yeah, uh, we have Airbnb Masterminds, which has over 125,000 members to date. Um, I wish I could say I, I know the exact strategy for that, but I don't. It just kind of caught fire and people started joining. Uh, that's been a lot of fun because I get to interview people like Mark in the group and everyone gets to get exposed to leading uh, industry leaders within the business. And so for that reason, we're providing a lot of value in that free group. And then of course, if you're wanting to streamline your business and you know bypass 
bypass as many mistakes as possible. You still have to make mistakes, but being able to bypass a lot of them and get the roadmap to success. We of course have our six figure formula shirt I'm wearing, six FF, uh, six figure formula, which is a one year program that we literally coach everyone through on how to be able to create a six figure business in under 12 months, just like I've done, just like a very large number of my students have been able to do. And uh, just being able to take the emotion out of this business and turn it into a step by step formula so that you're just following a path and not, you know, I mean, I think the number one issue that people get into is they do business based on a feeling. We're trying to help you remove that and just turn it into a system. Yeah, absolutely. So Instagram is the easiest way to get me at Fearless Kyle. My website is fearlesskyle.com and uh, the YouTube channel is The Fearless Investor. And then on Facebook, just go ahead and join Airbnb Masterminds. Having a blast, gonna get it on the Bruce Lee podcast. Bruce Lee like Bruce Lee because it's so hard and the tea is loose leaf. Making up those rhymes, don't write it, just do it loosely.